Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Berkson, and boy, the Swedes just keep teaching us things about sex. We think of the Swedish society as having a lot of promiscuity, but you know, the government was noticing that with great concern that one out of every three Swedish couples was separating before one of their kids was five years old. This is very troublesome because the stability of a family resonates up through the stability of a society. So Gothenburg University was enlisted to do a study where they followed a number, of, fairly robust number of couples over eight years to figure out who stays together and who doesn't. What they learned is education for us that will help you be happier, more vibrant, and have a more enduring family life. They discovered that cuddling, chemistry, connection, sensuality inside and outside of the bedroom, a connection between maleness and femaleness throughout the day that culminated in the bedroom. The couples that had that were the ones that had longevity. But how did they get that? Because it just doesn't fall from the trees. We think if we meet the right person, we're just going to have it. It's going to be fireworks going off and everything's grand, but often it isn't sustainable after one or two years. It comes through education, and that's what this Swedish study was suggesting, that if couples could be educated on the benefits of sex, the communication that's optimal between men and women, how do you really achieve? What are the five crucial steps to have sensuality outside the bedroom that you wouldn't even realize that translates into a better bedroom, that translates into a more enduring, relationship and a home life that has less fragileness, less vulnerability to breaking apart. My new book, Sexy Brain, is an education that parents can give to their kids when they're one, um, looking at getting engaged. It's for you to understand what is awakened sex. How does sex start in the stomach? How do you become the kind of lover no one will ever want to leave? How do you never be lonely again? How is the external environment assaulting our intimacy? And how can you fight back to preserve your intimacy so you can get all the benefits from it, from brain health to relationship health? to family enduring, to children's stability. Stay tuned for Sexy Brain, and we just keep learning more from the Swedes, and I translate so much from you from many different science-based studies, making it very easily, easy, approachable, and I introduce the brand new first of its kind sex hormone receptor, Detox, so you can fight back from the outer pollution and keep your bedroom toxic-free, but booming. I'm Dr. Lindsay Berkson. Bye.